hello soul buddies welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a new subscriber you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome so today's tutorial is on that manipulation and that transfers in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you the different types of that just apart from your ways that you're going to be learning divers that i'm also going to be teaching you the two methods of that transfer and that manipulation and who can guess what those methods are mm -hmm. pivotal and slash and spread method you're going to be learning how to use these methods to manipulate your dad to create amazing styles so if you're excited like i am let's get right to it welcome buddies welcome so buddies to another exciting tutorial um for starters that manipulation is one of the tutorials i enjoy teaching a lot because of how fascinating that transfers can be and the amazing styles you can you know create from simply transferring a dart from your waistline to any part of this point so first off we are going to be you know trying to get acquainted to dart and the principle of dart manipulation this principle simply states that a dart can be transferred to any location any location around the pattern outline from a designated pivotal point without affecting the size or fit of the garment so meaning that this um, waistline darts can be transferred to any of this point here or even some of the points that were not outlined or that are not outlined here without altering the size or fit of your garment and there are actually two types of that manipulation or that transfer method and those two types are the types we are going to be looking at in this tutorial and those two types are the slash and spread method and also the pivotal method first off i'm going to be i'd like us to know what this space right here is this space is called a corollary and it's the space between the dart legs and it can be used you can actually use it to create gathers pleats stocks and any style line you choose so meaning that you must not always cut this out you can actually use it to form gathers, to form pleats you know it just helps you to create styles as you go so now these are the nine points the nine points we are going to be looking at this line here is the french dart the straight or the side dart we have the mid armhole the shoulder tip dart you know from the location we form the name the mid shoulder dart this is the mid neck the center front neck and the center front bust level that and this is the center front waist that and of course we have our waistline that which is like one of the very common if not the commonest that we use in our everyday or day-to-day -day sewing so now the two types of that manipulation methods are the slash and spread and the pivotal for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to be starting with the pivotal before we get to the slash and spread because the slash and spread is a more invasive methods of method of that manipulation meaning that i'll have to cut through this pattern piece right here for the slash and spread method so before we get to the slash and spread method i'd like us to you know start with a pivotal method so for the pivotal method let's say we want to transfer this that right here this space right here we want to transfer it say to the mid shoulder to the mid shoulder point so what you want to do for this um what you want to do for this pivot so what we are going to do for this particular slash and spread method you know we are trying to transfer this that space to the mid shoulder so what we are going to do is to simply hold this pattern piece together just hold it down hold it down like so hold it down so it doesn't move and then we are going to be drawing we are going to be tracing out this area from this that leg we are going to be tracing out this area down to this area and after that we are going to be moving this to close up before we draw out the remaining area so this is what i mean first off 
this part is not going to move that's from this part right here this part this point to this point is more like it's going to be a stable stable point so because it's going to be stable and that we are going to be moving our, our paper afterwards what i want to do now is to draw out trace out the outline just trace it out like so trace it out trace your neckline and then down to the that point where you want to move this that to after you've done that the next thing you're going to do is to close remember this is our pivot pivotal method so what we are going to do now for a pivot it's just a point where things moves around so it's more like we are moving this you just with a pin or whatever hold this paper down and move this that leg to close up to this one then retrace the remaining part so with this see i've closed it up i've closed this up so we are going to trace out the remaining parts remember while tracing we stopped here at the mid shoulder level we stopped here at the mid shoulder level so what we want to do is to trace out this remaining part of our pattern piece and this is how it goes we trace out this remaining part like so we trace this out down to this point remember these are pivotal points these are points here we trace it out so with that we've gotten when you're done tracing when you're done tracing you bring out this pin right here save Draw your new dots. So this is the mid armhole dot. Now we've been able to transfer that waist dot to the mid armhole dot without altering the fit or the size of this piece. So for instance, if I'm going to be needing my dots to come from my mid armhole instead of my waist, this is going to this is what my pattern piece is going to look like. So all you just do is do a dart transfer. We've done the method with using the pivotal method. This is just the pivotal method. This is how you do it. So I'm just going to flip my paper to the other side and we try out another method. Or I'm going to be getting a new paper. So we just try out another method. 